the festive season is coming to an end now. We do still have New Year's, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, but the real stuff, the good stuff, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day has indeed finished. The eating has generally stopped and... <laughs> Oh, you're not sure about I'm that. I'm not sure about that one. All right, the eating has generally stopped. I'll say that. You can disagree if you want, but I'm going to stick with it. But the day is indeed the 27th day, and if I add two and seven together, I get nine, which is the page I'm going with. I like it. Yep. And the number mm -hmm. is going to be number four. Number four. Number I wasn't four. expecting that. But this is an interesting one, I hope. Churchill's secret bunker was in Neesden. It was so horrible, he only went there once. <laughs> he was like, if the Germans are gonna hit us, I'm I wanna down be with where I'm meant to be, yeah. yeah. Not in damn Neesden. Wow. Yeah, I mean, Neesden, not the best place in the world, let's be it's honest. It's not the best place. Yeah, it's a bit of a shithole. I mean, a lot of parts of the world are shitholes, but Neesden, a bit of a shithole. Where we live in East Essex, East London, is a bit of a shithole as well, but also. Neesden is it's different level. It is. I understand Churchill's motivation there. I don't wanna be dying there. I just don't want it. Hey, no wrench on the comic head! Yes, and right now we're just gonna be talking about something that I thought about after reading some comments on yesterday's video. And that is that people can have different opinions about everything in life, but especially movies. You don't always have to agree with the person who you're listening to. You can say, nah, I think you're wrong there, G. I don't think you got the right mindset. That's fine, I got no issue with that. I got no problems with that. I can acknowledge that I'm generally right. And I can acknowledge that people who disagree with me are generally wrong. But occasionally, people are correct and I'm wrong. But with Glass Onion, I'm telling you, I ain't wrong. That movie was trash. It was trash. And if you disagree, that's fine. You saw it through a different lens. Yeah. This wonderfully coloured kaleidoscope that you wanted to see it through. And if you love it and you liked it and you thought it was good, what can I say? You're an idiot. But you can enjoy the things you want to enjoy without harassment, okay? But when people are coming at us in the comments saying, oh my God, oh my God, how can you say that? You're doing all the things people say in negative reviews about Ryan Johnson movies. I'm just saying, lads, all right? Ryan Johnson is a piece of shit. Yeah. I can say it because I believe it to be true. He destroyed a franchise that I loved. I did also say that he did make the best movie in the sequel trilogy, though. Because episode eight, by all accounts, as a movie, is the best movie. Yeah. So it's not like I was just slapping him in the face. No. I just spat in your face. <laughs> I was giving him flowers and slapping the flowers in his face. Indeed you were. I will say about The Glass Onion, some people really enjoyed it and you are welcome to enjoy what you enjoy. Mm -hmm. I personally did not like it. I found it very see-through, but when we watch movies, we're incredibly critical mm -hmm. and we look at it through the lens of a creator, of someone who writes stories, yeah. who really, really enjoys stories. So for us, to pull the wool over our eyes and to have a story it's that isn't tough. see through, it is tough. Well, the thing is, murder mysteries are inherently difficult to craft, so it's never an easy task to flesh out a good one. But if Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston yeah. can make one, then I just think maybe Ryan Johnson could have done a better job because he's not a terrible director. He made Looper, very good movie. But this was shit. It was shit, guys. The first one was good. Knives Out 1 was good. It wasn't great. It, was it wasn't hit. amazeballs. It wasn't mind-blowing. But it was good. It was passable. Maybe a rewatch from time to time. I haven't rewatched it since, but no. maybe. This one ain't getting anywhere near it. No. Not happening. But, as we said, all right, you can like what you like. You can dislike what you dislike. If you dislike us, fine. But don't say we have these opinions because we want to get views. No. Don't say we have these opinions because they want to make money. No, we give all the ad revenue from this channel to food banks. We do. All right? We say what we want, we mean what we say, and we do not take people's money. Okay? We ain't doing it as of now. Maybe one day that'll as change. As of now. As of now, that ain't happening. So, you can have your opinions. You can say what you want. But just know we say what we want, and they are our opinions in the first place. We ain't being swayed either way. It's not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. Okay? If I wanted to, I could have made that video from yesterday eight minutes, one second long. And I could have put five ads in the video. Could have. But I don't do that. Because you know what? It's not about the views and it's not about the money. Because if I made it eight minutes long, it's more likely to get more views because YouTube's going to push it a bit more, right? True. Because there are more ads on it and YouTube wants to make the revenue. But I said, I don't want to just fill it with fluff. 15 seconds of your time is 15 seconds wasted. So I'm not just going to add it for the sake of it so I can put ads in it. I'm not doing it. So don't say we're sellouts. Don't say we just say things for the shock value. No. no. We say it because we mean it. What do we do? We say it because we mean it. Exactly. Take that, you friggin' 
Psycho! I got two! <laughs>